Hey again everyone. Normally I post about rabbits because rabbits are kind of my thing. <laughs> but I've started on something a little different. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to start breeding these little guinea pigs here uh, for similar purposes uh, as I breed the rabbits. So for meat. The fact is that these animals here were actually domesticated for food. They were not domesticated for pets. They originate in South America. Um, I, I don't know exactly where the Peruvian area or, or Argentina, but they were originally domesticated so that the people there could raise them in their kitchens and feed them off of the refuse of the kitchen, the, the plant materials, you know, the uh, vegetable scraps and things like that. And they, uh, even nowadays, still allow them, allow them to breed in the kitchen. And then whenever they need one, they pick one up and they have it for dinner. So my experiment for the next year or two is going to be trying to get these guys to breed enough for them to become a, a viable source of meat. I might get a lot of flack for this. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to accept that. I, I accept your hate, I guess. Uh, I accept the criticism. I don't know of anybody in my area who's actually doing this with guinea pigs because, again, guinea pigs are normally thought of as pets. So I don't really have any, any idea of, uh, of how to even do this. I mainly want to present them to people who are interested in becoming food independent as an option for <laughs> as an option for, for meat. If they can't keep rabbits, most certainly they can keep guinea pigs. So what I have in here are three males and three females, and I'm hoping that within the next few months they'll start producing young for me. Uh, it looks like uh, she's probably pregnant, and I'm sure, actually, I'm sure all of the females are pregnant. Guinea pigs have a two-month gestation, so they're not going to be anywhere near as productive as rabbits. Rabbits have a one-month gestation. Uh, guinea pigs may have one to four young. Um, rabbits will have six to eight, six to ten, depending on you know how, how good your rabbit is. But the advantages of guinea pigs is that they can eat almost anything. Le uh, rabbits, you have to be careful about feeding them grain um, because they will get bloat and that will kill them. But guinea pigs, if it's plant matter, the guinea pigs can eat it. They're starting to lose interest in the grass and they're gonna start escaping. So I'll just leave it at that, and uh, if you have any thoughts, by all means, um, give them to me. You can cuss me if you want, or, or whatever. But if you're interested in learning with me about how to raise these guys as livestock, then by all means, stick around. Um, give it a like, give it a dislike, um, send me a trolling comment. <laughs> I really don't, I don't mind, I love trolls. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly ask me in the comments. I'm more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. Like I said, I know this is going to be a little bit controversial, but I don't mind. I'm always interested in trying something new, and I really hope that you're interested in learning about something new. So, uh, until next time, I'll see you later.